Hello everyone, my name is Andy Hegenstaller. I'm the Digital Services Manager for Corteva uh, in the state of Minnesota. I'm here today with Territory Manager Brad Weber from South Central Minnesota to talk a little bit about an exciting new feature that we're adding in the near future to Encirca Pro for field scouting. And that feature is field by field weather tracking. Uh, Brad, I'm gonna turn it over to you, maybe talk a little bit about what some of the features we have in Encirca Pro right now uh, leading up to the release of the field weather here in the next week or so. Great, yeah. Well, Encirca Pro is a great tool. We've got satellite imagery, which allows us to do speed scouting. It's a great tool to keep monitor your fields through the growing season. Our growers really like that feature. We also have nitrogen monitoring. You keep track of your nitrogen at a field level throughout the growing season to keep track of where you are through that VT R1 growth stage. Make sure you have adequate nitrogen available for your crops. You can also view your planting plan. And then, like Andy said, the new feature getting rolled out that I'm really excited about is field weather. So you'll be able to see uh, precipitation in the last 24 hours, uh, precipitation since your planting date, and GDUs uh, since planting date. This feature will be really, really important to keep a track, uh, especially since this spring we had a little bit of delayed planting. Keep track of where the crop stage is progressing, when we're, uh, how many GDUs we've accumulated, and if we're tracking and when we're tracking to reach black layer on specific products. So having this feature will be a, a great benefit to monitor your cropping progress, also for herbicide applications as where the crop is prog progressing through the V stages during the growing season. Brad, could you talk a little bit about the weather data that's coming into the Encirca app? Yeah, so the new weather data will be fin uh, fed in through local weather stations from the Weather Underground. They have over 250,000 weather stations locally in our territory. We have a lot of new weather stations going up. And as a grower, you link into the Weather Underground network, and that will actually help feed what we're getting by precipitation by field. GDUs by field will be fed by those local 250,000 local weather stations from the Weather Underground network. So if you have a weather station and you want to add it to the network, uh, I encourage you to do so. You can do that at Weather Underground, and it will continue to feed our model. And obviously, uh, if a grower wants to add a weather station or a Pioneer seed rep, uh, talk to your local Pioneer Territory Manager, agronomist, or certified and circus service agent, and they can help you with that process for sure. Um, one important thing to point out, two of the three weather uh, items that Brad mentioned of coming into the app are both since planting. And so that's really important to know what's happened on this field in terms of precip and temp uh, heat unit since planting. In order for the app to know when planting was, we've got to get that information in there. Otherwise, it's just going to tell us how much precipitation we had on each of our fields yesterday. And there's really three ways that we can get uh, growers' data into the app. So we get that since planting weather information. The first is we can create a data linkage between Encirca and the John Deere Operations Center. We actually create the linkage with the JD Link wireless data transfer, uh, log into the Encirca account, uh, sign in with your grower credentials, and then a window will pop up. You'll do the same thing and log into your My John Deere account, and then the two will automatically link. It's as easy as one, two, three to get that done. If we don't have the Deere wireless data transfer, uh, we can always do it the old-fashioned way with a data stick, uh, get the data off of the planting monitor, um, and load that up into Encirca, either using our desktop Encirca Sync Pro application, or for those of us that have the Encirca Sync mobile device, uh, we can actually upload the data onto a USB, a special mm -hmm. USB, connect it to our smartphone, and wirelessly send it to Encirca from there. And then finally, if we don't have as planted data at all, uh, we can actually just log into Encirca Field Planner, uh, select the product that was on the seed plan for the field, and hit the plant button at the uh, lower right of the product card, and that will plant the product on the field. And within a couple minutes, if not less, you should be able to open up uh, the field details in the Encirca Pro app, and you'll see what product was planted and on what date. Um, at that point, uh, you'll be able to get that precipitation and GDU since planting information that Brad talked about earlier. So really, um, the message here is we've got a great new feature to continue to build out the speed scouting and field-by-field -field monitoring power of the Encirca Pro app um, and take a look at that today. And hey, Brad, thanks for joining us today to talk a little bit about Encirca uh, Pro field weather monitoring. Anything you'd like to add before we sign off? 
Yeah, like you said, I just encourage growers to download their as planted dated when they get finished and get that to their local sales representative. That'll really help you take advantage of the uh, features in the app, like the weather monitoring that we uh, discussed. But download that data, get it to your local sales representative, and they can upload your as planted maps. All right. Thanks a lot, Brad. Great advice. Talk to you later. You too.